Would you like something, Your Royal Highness? I don't want anything. Everyone can go home. Well, I'll see you next weekend. The one after. Well, if that's what the palace have decided. It's still possible you might be queen one day. I want to help people. You're so good at giving love. The hard part is receiving love. Doctor, this is Diana. Well, perhaps I can show you around. There's a canteen on the ground floor, but it's not open late. You could always pop around the corner for supper with me. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know how to contact you. Well, I'm like most people. I've got a mobile. Actually, I'm not like most people. I have four. Cheers. Cheers. He doesn't treat me like a princess. It's almost as if he doesn't know who I am. Maybe he doesn't. He might be very badly informed. <laughs> You're the most famous woman in the world. Use your power. I'm only trying to highlight a problem that's going on all around the world. I'm in love with a heart surgeon. I don't think I've ever been so struck by someone. If your feelings are this strong, he will feel the same. Where are we going? To the very edge of the kingdom. The next few days are going to be a little bit tricky. If I marry you, I have to marry the whole world as well. That's not possible. Anything's possible. I am a surgeon! I can't work with the paparazzi sticking their cameras in my face! When you fall in love, you just keep going despite the warning lights. You keep telling me everything's going to be all right. It's not all right. It's all wrong. You've received an offer from Dodie Fire. Does it feel right to be going on this trip? You're not going because you feel lonely. I was trying to find a way for us to be together. Diana!